Zambia's growing reputation for good governance and sound management of public resources is paying off, with the country receiving major support under the Millennium Challenge Corporation, MCC Second Compact. Finance and National Planning Minister Stumbe Komsokotwane says this has not come about as a freak accident, but has been attained through engagement, hard work and end trust. We are honoured to have been selected for a second grant because in a sense also we've earned it because countries that don't adhere to those three principles, they are never selected. Making sure that we have inclusive economic growth, strengthening good governance and providing economic freedom. Dr. Msokotwane also touched on enhancing earlier initiatives under MCC and called for infrastructure to support water harvesting, pointing to the Bombay drainage and water supply projects in Lusaka from the first MCC compact. This important task of sending away the floods must be followed by a task of not throwing away that water, but collecting in some dam somewhere in the vicinity of Lusaka. And U.S. Ambassador to Zambia, Michael Gonzalez, said his country is ready to partner in Zambia's development, not just in agriculture, but in health and other vital sectors. This partnership isn't charity. This isn't philanthropy. I don't believe in just giving a man a fish. I believe in teaching our partners and working together with our partners to learn to fish and to do so in a way such that that mindset guides everything that the United States and Zambia does together. The U.S. partnership in Zambia, in fact, is an investment. And we believe in investing in Zambia's greatest resource, her people. And Lusaka Province Minister Shio Muriata is happy that the MCC investment in agriculture sector will be a critical drive of job creation and food security in Zambia. Agriculture is about employment and income at individual and household level. When agriculture fails to perform, the majority of our citizens who rely on farming lose income and livelihoods. Masauso, Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Lusaka.